On November 21, 1963, three Soviet soldiers entered Afghanistan to eliminate a target and deliver a message. These soldiers are Sergeant Yuri Razlov, Captain Kovics, and Sergeant Vastov. Yuri does the dirty work, assassinating the official. They move to a nearby evacuation point and get caught in a stalemate between Afghan forces. They attempt to escape the building, but an explosion collapsed the building above falls on the valiant Captain Kovics. Comrades, get this off of me! Yuri, give me a hand! We must go! Oh, you move so slow, perhaps you should work in the central office. That way you'll not worry about exploding buildings. <laughs> Nearby, I am sure any building is likely to explode. Let's go, Yuri, stop dragging your feet! The Soviets move tirelessly to a boat when something unexpected happens. Yuri, it seems as though you are not feeling well. Your sacrifice will strengthen the Mother Russia. Sorry, comrade, you won't be needing your weapons. A true Soviet soldier needs only his hands to fight. Does Vidanya, comrade. Yuri wakes up to find himself with no guns, ammo, or grenades. Yuri is now alone in Afghanistan, but he's not defenseless. He fights and traverses through garrisons, caves, and other facilities until he meets his newfound allies. That was the last of them. Now time to find out who our friend is. Hold it right there! That uniform looks Russian to me. I say we kill him where he stands! Stand down! If he was with the Afghans, we'd already be dead. He's coming with us, and that's an order! That's right, Captain Alex Mason saves our friend from certain death. They take a jeep and drive through many different trucks and helicopters until they make it out of the frying pan. RPGs on that truck, take them out! Yuri would then fight with the Americans in Vietnam, in a mission with very little character development so it's too uninteresting to talk about. Thank you all so much for watching, now I will stop this video before I pass out from exhaustion.